Next week, a special grand jury will decide whether the eight officers who shot and killed Jalen Walker after a chase should face criminal charges. Meanwhile, the city is bracing for possible protests. Carmen Blackwell has more. An Akron grand jury will soon hear evidence and determine whether charges will be filed against the eight officers who fatally shot 25-year-old Jalen Walker last summer. While the grand jury will be seated Monday, downtown businesses are bracing for potential protests, similar to what we saw last year. Fifth Ward Councilwoman Tara Mosley released a statement to Akron citizens earlier today, disparaging businesses from boarding up. In part, the statement says, quote, Akronites want to trust that the grand jury will make the right decision, but that is only possible if we can trust the process. Unfortunately, though, the process is being unfairly tainted by the decision to start boarding up windows throughout the city before the grand jury is even seated. But some businesses don't agree. You know, if everything pops off, are we just going to get steamrolled, or will the city actually take um, responsibility for their actions? Shops like Grismer Brothers have been open since 1934. The store's manager says they boarded up during the protests last year, and they're preparing now in order to protect the thousands of dollars worth of valuables inside in case something happens. Board up, keep our eyes open, and make sure that we... Um, we get everything out of here that we can, and if there's a problem, we'll just run. Marjorie Klein owns the peanut shop on Main Street. She tells me she's thought about boarding up herself. I just decided that I wasn't going to do it, and I'm going to hope for the best, and that, you know, um, the good Lord will take care of all of us down here on Main Street. She plans to place her trust in the city next week. I think the city's going to take care of us down here this time around. I think they learned a lot from the last time. Well, the eight police officers involved were placed on administrative leave in late June, but have returned to work in administrative roles in October. The city has refused to identify them. Russ. Okay. Carmen Blackwell, thank you.